I came home late that night, much later than I should have. We had a new case that was taking up most of my time. I promised my wife I wouldn't bring my work home, but now she was gone, and work was the only thing I had left in here. We had two unsolved murders on our table. Two dead girls, found in the same week. That was my case. I wanted to go over the information we had, just to be sure I didn't miss anything. There it was. Three things that both cases had in common.
morning, Detective. What do we have here, Sergeant? I think you should talk to Detective Garner, sir. Alex is already here? Yes, sir. But we're all here. So what do we have? It looks like another one, but I don't know. Take a look. It's exactly the same as the other two victims. Third victim with the same M.O. Shit. I'm gonna call the LT and tell him we've got a serial here. You see what else you can find out about her. Something is missing here. There is no blood. What do you mean? There is no blood. She's got her body cut open, but there's no blood anywhere. You're right. That means we've got a secondary crime scene. I'm gonna call patrol and have them search the nearby area, see if they can find the primary scene. You take a look around, see what else you can find around here. Oh, hey James. Morning, Michael. Think you'll be able to get anything out of this mess? No, not a chance. Uh, security consoles fried, the drives were wiped out. If there was any security footage, it's gone now. So what do you think happened here?
This wasn't just some random act of violence. Whoever did this knew exactly what he was doing and why. He disabled the cameras, wiped out security records, destroyed security feed, and left. Nothing else. He did it only to destroy the evidence. But he didn't come here with a plan. He just needed to get rid of her body, so he grabbed the first thing he saw and used it. The whole scene was just an improvisation. The location, chains, the body pose, none of that matters. He did it only to mess with us. Only important thing here is the girl, who she was, and why she was killed. Any witnesses? Nothing so far. 
Who found the body? Construction workers. When they came in from their morning shift at six o'clock, they didn't see anyone either. We need to find a way the suspect got in and out. If the girl wasn't killed here, someone had to drag the body in somehow. Where does this lead? This is a service tunnel that's being used by the construction workers. It leads to a service parking space. It's supposed to be locked, but I think the construction guys keep it open overnight. It's been three days since you were killed. Probably even more since you went missing. And we still don't know anything about you. No name, 
No address. Nothing. She's not in here. Why are you dead and no one is looking for you? She was young. Someone had to miss her. She was good looking, attractive, athletic type. Hard to believe no one would notice she disappeared. She went jogging before she died. Means she had to live somewhere. You were a young, attractive girl. So why do we have no idea who you are? I look so calm like that, don't you think? You are so close. And yet, you still have no idea who I really was. She wasn't from here. She wasn't local. That's why she's not in any missing persons reports. Because no one from here is looking for her. She might be from another state. Maybe even a different country. We were looking for her at the wrong places. I was messed up, girl. Miserable. Broken. She was a tourist. Why do you do this to yourself, James? You cannot change what is going to happen. Just like you cannot change what happened to me. We are similar, you and I. Our lives are no longer our own to decide. Thank you. 